Valve just announced a Steam game recording which is a built-in Steam feature that lets you clip your clutches and insane moments with the click of a few buttons. The game recording works on any Steam game as well as non-Steam games. Game recording is also fully functional on the Steam Deck. This is engineered for performance. It minimizes CPU usage of video encoding by using the dedicated video encoding hardware of your AMD or NVIDIA GPUs. Mr. Maxim did benchmarks when running the Steam game recording versus Shadow Play and saw hardly any performance difference. The game recording is in beta, just note that. And before I show you how to use it, here's a quick word from today's sponsor Skinland, a site where you can buy or sell CS2 skins. It's super easy to use. First, log in Steam. Then set your Steam trade link, use promo code NART, and you get a free $10 if you sell enough. Now pick the skins you want to sell, pick the cash out method where there's a lot of different ways, confirm the Steam trade, and receive your money within a couple minutes. Also, buying skins on Skinland is so much cheaper than the Steam market. Check them out now by clicking the link below. Let me show you how to use the game recording. First, go to Steam, then go to Settings. Interface then beta participation and then you're going to select the top one. A pop-up prompts to restart your Steam, hit restart now. When your Steam is done restarting, go back to Steam settings, then you're going to go to the game recording tab. Then you're going to get a pop-up that shows the game recording features, just click got it. There's two recording modes, the first one is record in background. Steam will begin recording automatically when you start playing so you don't miss those unexpected moments. You specify the hard drive space limits. Once full, the oldest gameplay will be overwritten as a new gameplay is recorded. You can watch, create, and save video clips from these recordings. Basically, what that means is Steam is going to record in the background while you're playing, and you could change the time length of the gameplay. So it's set as 120, so two hours. If I want to change the time, I definitely can. So let's just say let's do one hour there we go and you can see it changes the disk space by half the size all right i'm going to change the length back to 120 which was the default time so for two hours your video is going to be recorded for the gameplay and then once that two hours reaches then it's going to start replacing it and then we can change the quality of it so these are the different options let's just show you if i change it to 1.5 look how much smaller it gets it's going to be the worst quality but if I put at the highest quality at 24, it's going to take the most disk space at 21 gigs. I'm going to keep it at 12 here for high. And this is how much disk space it would take. So 120 minutes of gameplay at 12 megabytes, which is high, is going to take almost 11 gigs. Where does your files get saved at? So there's a raw recordings folder. It's going to be made automatically inside your Steam folder, where it's going to create a folder called game recordings. You can also change the folder where you want your file saved. Enable GPU hardware encoding was already enabled by default. I'm going to leave that. Now for the shortcut keys, there's two of them. First one is the overlay shortcut key to add a timeline marker, which is control F12. And then the screenshot shortcut key, which is F12, which I'll show what it looks like here in a bit. Last options are audio recording. You can go ahead and record your microphone. And by default, it is turned off, but you could enable it. And then if you do enable it, you can go ahead and choose where you're recording the audio from, whether that be game audio only or all systems, or you can go ahead and pick which ones. The other game recording is record on demand and Steam will begin recording only after you press a hotkey start and stop recording manually in this mode. All recordings are automatically saved as clips. The record on demand is pretty self-explanatory. You record when you want to record by pressing a button. Now we have the raw recordings folder where your files are saved. Once again, that's in the game recordings folder of Steam, but you can change the location. This time for the recording quality, we don't have a length or time because it's not recording the background. It's recording when you want to by pressing a button. So the only option here is by choosing the set quality here. So we'll just leave that on high and then enable GPU, leave that on by default. For the shortcut keys, the extra key that we're getting here this time is the overlay shortcut key to start, stop recording. So when do we want to start recording and when do we want to stop? By pressing Control F11. The recorded background didn't have that because that's automatic recording while you're playing. So you don't need a shortcut for that. And then we still have the same two shortcuts here and then also the same audio recording options. Let's start off with showing what record on demand looks like in game. I'm going to exit this out and go into CS2. 
All right, so I'm in game and in order for me to start recording for record on demand, I'm going to press my shortcut key, which is control F11. I get a sound cue and it says in the bottom right notification recording start view and overlay. So I'm just going to throw a window smoke by lining myself up here. And if I want to add the marker of this clip, that is going to be control F12. There we go. Game record user mark added on the bottom right noti. And then I'm just going to throw the window smoke. Everyone should know the smoke, guys. And if I want to take a screenshot as well, it's F12. There we go. And then if I want to stop the recording, I'm just going to press control F11, which is the same way I start recording. And then there we go. Recording finished. View clips in recording. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. The easiest way to go to your clips folder or your recording folder is go to view on Steam program. Then all the way at the bottom it says new recording and screenshots. Then here is the clip that I just recorded nine minutes ago, 48 megs. Let's go ahead and go through it. Quality looks really nice for high. And then here is the time marker that when I pressed the control F12, that's where it is right here. I made reference right there. And then my screenshot happened right here. So yeah, and then if I wanted to share this, you can go ahead and click share. There's a couple ways I could either export the video file and I could save it to my computer. Let's look at the other options. I can copy it to clipboard. And when I do this, what the, you could do with this is if you open up Discord, for example. So in my Discord, I'm just going to copy and paste here. And it's going to upload the whole file here. While we wait for this file to upload, make sure to join my Discord. I have one of the best CS2 communities. Link is down below in the descriptions. There's my Mirage Market Window clip inside my Discord that I copied to the clipboard. All right, so let's look at some other options. We could send it to other device. So you could send this clip to your PC. Next time you sign the Steam on that device, your clip will be automatically downloaded there. Sign the Steam from the another computer or Steam Deck and use this option to send clips to that computer. And then we could also send to your phone. You'll get a notification from the Steam mobile app when your phone clip is ready to download. You can also scan this QR code. I don't, it's not popping up right now, but yep. And then we could also create a share link. Uh, the share link's not working, but I would assume there would be a link here that you can copy and paste to share. And then we could also send this clip to a friend. So my friend Louis CS2, I'm going to send this to him. You can see you could tag it as spoiler. You need to learn this. Mirage Smoke. You know who's an expert in Mirage Smokes? Me. I got a full guide on my YouTube. Make sure to check it out. The clip looks really good. Let's look at some other stuff now. All right. So back inside the folder here, when you click back besides our video clip, we also took a screenshot, which is shown here. All right. Now we're back in the recording and screenshot folder. Let's say I want to delete these two files. All you have to do is hit select and then go ahead, left click on both of these, click the trash can and hit delete. Now we have no more files and then if you click on this settings gear in the top right, it's going to take to your Steam settings game recording tab where I'm going to switch over to show you what recording background looks like. All right, so now I'm in game and it should be recording the background without me needing to press anything. And if I want to put a marker on my timeline, same thing as with the clips, I can go ahead and press control F12. There we go. User marker added. If I want to take a screenshot, it's F12. Remember guys, it's automatic recording. I don't have to start or stop. It will record for however long I had set the timer to. So that's going to be 120 minutes. Let's exit the game and take a look at the recording. So again, go to Steam, go to view, new recordings and screenshots. Here is my screenshot I took. And then here is the background recording. I had seven minutes and 54 seconds. So there's me loading up the game and then my Timeline marker, as you can see, is right here. This is my timeline marker. And then there is frags that happen across on the timeline that will show you where all the action is. It's a little hectic in the arms race because there's frags all over the place, but you get the point. And then I could actually turn this into a clip. So let's go ahead and start a clip and I can go ahead and make it however long I want. Then I can go ahead and click save and share. And I'm going to send it to my friend Louis here. We're going to tag it as a spoiler this time. You can name the clip whatever you want, but by default name, it is called multi-frag. And there's other ways to share, which I previously shown before. Export to your computer, 
copy to your clipboard, send it to your phone, and etc. The file is done uploading. I'm going to send a message. Check out this insane multi frag. So that's the clipping feature shown from the recording of the background. Wow. Exactly. Once you're done with the recording background, or if you don't want this on anymore, go ahead and click off. Don't record. If you want to use the Steam game recording for other games outside of Steam, you want to go into your Steam library, bottom left, add a game, click add a non Steam game. Unfortunately for me, I only play CS. I have no other games installed, but you would go ahead and choose it from here. And then all you have to do is run the game through your Steam library and make sure the Steam overlay is on. What do you guys think about the game recording? Let me know down below in the comments. And remember guys, clips or it didn't happen.